evaluate these numbers with simple calculators. 1.02 raised to the one-third. 1.56 raised to the 1 over 15. 50 raised to the 500 root. 2,000 raised to the 1 over 2,000. Whenever a calculator's square key is pressed, it raises the root of that number to the power of 2. For each pressings, this is the tabulations, number of pressings and the root, corresponding root it represents. Press one time, it's raised to the one half. Press two times, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteen, and so forth. Like pressing twelve times, it equivalent to raising to the one over forty ninety six. The method used in this video is not the one with the twelve, uh, the twelve times multiply and equal method. This is by uh, another method. Given n raised to the one over x. Look for the root from the tabulation closer to the value of x, and call this x sub zero. Irregardless of whether it's greater or less than the number. Therefore, this is the equation. n raised to the 1 over x is approximately equal to parenthesis n raised to the 1 over x of 0 minus 1 multiplied by the ratio of x of 0 to x then plus 1. And that is now the approximate value of n raised to the 1 over x. This kind of approximation is appropriate for two kinds of conditions. Number one, a small base, like uh, the base is between one, is uh, the base is uh, between one and two. And the regular root, and uh, in which the root is between 1 and 20. And the second one is the regular base, in which the base is greater than 2, probably less than 2,000 uh, or 3,000. Very large root numbers, in which the, the root is uh, between... Uh, the one over thirty thousand and bet and between one over two hundred. These interval values are only guides that give up optimal results. Solving the give the given example, the first one is one point zero two raised to the one third. That's the third root of one point zero two, and from there we can see that x is equal to three. That's a, that's a cube root of 1.02. But what is closest to 3 is 4. That means from the table, the fourth, power, the fourth root is the nearest to the third uh, cube root. So therefore, from the formula, n raised to the 1 over x approximately equal to n raised to the 1 over x sub 0 minus 1 multiplied by the ratio of x to the x sub 0 then plus 1. So here we have 1.02 raised to the one third is approximately equal to 1.02 raised to the one fourth. How do we do this? We just press 1.02 uh, and press the square root of key twice, one half, then one fourth. Then this value is minus 1 and then multiply by the ratio 4 to 3. That is the fourth root and the cube root. Then plus one. So applying the numbers, 1.02 to the one third approximately equal to 1.00496293157. That, that is the fourth root of 1.02 minus one multiplied by four over three plus one. 
And this is the answer. 1.02 raised to the one-third, approximately equal to this, 1.00661725. And the true value from a scientific calculator is this one, 1 1.00662270956. And the percentage error is equal to 0.00543%. The second example, 1.56 raised to the 1 over 115. That's a 15 root of 1.57. So x here is 15. That's a 15 root. x sub 0 is 16. That's the 16 root of 1.56, which you can get from the simple calculator. So n, with using the same formula, 1.56 raised to the 1 over 15, approximately equal to 1.56 raised to the 1 over 16, that's the 16 root of 1.56 minus 1, multiplied by ratio of 16 over 15 plus 1. And the value of 1.56 raised to the 1 over 16 from the simple calculator is this one, 1 1.028182688853 minus 1 times this one. So from the simple calculator, we're able to obtain 1.56 raised to the 1 over 15, approximately equal to 1.30306153443. And the true value is this one. And the error committed is 0.00029%. And the third, and those are small base, right? And here is a bigger base. 50, the, the third number is 50 raised to the 1 over 500, 500 is the 500 root of 50. So here the, the, the base is, is a regular number, but the, the root is very, very large. So similarly, x now equals to 500 and x sub 0 is 512. Because uh, we can get the 1 over 512 root from a simple calculator. So the same formula. So 50 raised to the 1 over 500 is approximately equal to 50 raised to the 1 over 512 root using a simple cal calculator. Then minus 1, then multiply by the ratio of 512 to 500. Then you plus 1. Well, 50 raised to the 1 over 500, approximately equal to this. And we were able to obtain th this value, 1.00785401275. True value is this, and the error is 0.00007015%. Very small error. And the fourth example is finding 2,000 raised to the 1 over 2,000. So the the one over two thousand, the nearest one is twenty forty eight, and that is by pressing the square root key of a simple calculator to twelve times or eleven times. Sorry, eleven times. So x is equal to two thousand. X sub zero is twenty forty eight. With the same formula, two thousand raised to the one over two thousand, approximately equal to two thousand raised to the 1 over 2048 minus 1 multiplied by ratio of 2048 divided by 2000 plus 1. So simplifying, we get 2000 raised to the 1 over 2000 approximately equal to 1.0038075124. And from the scientific calculator, true value is this one, 1 1.00380761. 82. And the error made is 0.000169%. I'll show you how the formula was derived. This n raised to the 1 over x approximately equal to n raised to the 1 over x sub 0 minus 1 multiplied by the ratio of the x to x sub 0 plus 1. 
Many YouTubers are more familiar with people who upload videos showing how to get the roots, the logarithm, e to the x, natural logarithm using a simple calculator. For ln of a number n, the usual formula used will be ln of n is approximately equal to n raised to the 1 over 1496 minus 1. Quantity multiplied by 1496. What is, why, why use 1496? It's because in simple calculator, but you, you wanted to get a very small number of this one. Any number raised to the 1 over 496 will almost close to uh, 1. So in a simple calculator, when you press 12 times, you're able to get this n raised to the 1 over 1496. The 1 over 1496 root is obtained by pressing the squared key 12 times. This formula had been known for 50 years when poor students cannot afford to buy scientific calculators. This is a unique ability of simple calculators to obtain a number raised to a very small power. In this case, x raised to the 1 over 1496 is, is equal to x raised to 0 0.00024414062. The formula is derived from Newton method approximation. When the power raise approaches zero, actually any root that gives a small power will do, like one over 10,000. But unfortunately, this value cannot be obtained using a simple calculator, as the root can only in the powers of two, like one half, one fourth, one Eight one sixteen one thirty two, that 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 one over two raised to the n n. If we solve for ln of n, ln of n is approximately equal to n raised to the one over x sub zero minus one multiplied by x sub zero. Where in x sub zero is a power of, of two. Similarly, if we use x whose value is close to x sub 0, ln of n is approximately equal to n raised to the 1 over x minus 1 multiplied by x in which x is close to x sub 0. So both ln will yield approximately similar values. Thus, ln of n base based on x sub 0 is approximately equal to ln of n based on x, wherein x and x sub 0 is close together. So we write the formula n raised to the 1 over x minus 1 multiplied by x approximately equal to n raised to the 1 over x sub 0 minus 1 multiplied by x sub 0. So solving for n raised to the 1 over x, we simplify, therefore n raised to the 1 over x is approximately equal to n raised to the 1 over x sub 0 minus 1, quantity multiplied by x sub 0 divided by x. So x divided by x sub 0 divided by x, that's, that's the ratio of the two powers. On the other hand, if the the n value itself is a small number, such as 1.05, in which is close, very close to 1. Then the root need not be in the hundreds or in the thousand. That is why we have example like 1.02 raised to the one third, and fifth, and also 50 raised to the one over 500. So this one is a small root. A small base, but one third. So this is 1.02 raised to the 0.333. But this one is 50 raised to the 1 over 500. This is a small power. 
this is a big bigger power so bigger power small base bigger base but small power both give satisfactory answer for the approximation conclusions under those two conditions number one small base close to one raised to a power close to one number two bigger base greater than two but raised to power close to zero the formula can be used satisfactorily also this concept can be used to boost the accuracy of some simple calculator tricks to obtain roots and those accuracy can be up to like 500,000 times more accurate which I will make some videos in the future.